Welcome to Buy the Books, the podcast helping business owners navigate the complex world of business, tax, and bookkeeping. Now to the owner and president of Secline, Lindsay Klein. Thanks for joining us, everyone. This is Lindsay Klein with Secline, honest, accurate bookkeeping performed on time, and your host to Buy the Books. I am here with Jeffrey Gonzalez of Pay Entry, also known as the Payroll Guru. And I'm just going to keep saying it. That's who I am. That's my name now. I introduce myself as that now. Do you really? Everywhere I go, yeah. Absolutely. Perfect. And I feel like I was the, the catalyst to this oh, you whole did. thing. You so, did. You stamped it. Um, yeah. I think I should get commission. Well, I think you also get the privilege of designing the tattoo. That, oh, that's how that works, right? I do? Well, you named me. Oh, I love this. <laughs> now, do I also get to pick the place the tattoo is going to be put? I'm going to have to get back to you on that. I, I haven't reviewed all of the rules on, on the tattoo issue, but... Uh, I'm thinking yeah. a nice, like, neck or face tattoo. Just, like, right here. Just, like, payroll guru. <laughs> just all across my throat, you know, from ear to ear. Have yeah. you ever seen that movie, We're the Millers? Yes. Where he yes. has the neck tattoo that says no regret, <laughs> and it's misspelled. It's misspelled, right? <laughs> And the other guy's like, really? No yeah. regrets? Not yeah, even no, one letter? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So we'll, we'll misspell it on purpose and it'll just be, it'll be hilarious. So we have uh, digressed already. Yeah. <laughs> we made it 30 seconds that time. Good job. So Chris is out, my, my normal co-host today, and I called Jeffrey up to help. So he came in once again on his white horse to come help me. And and for this episode, you don't have to do a whole lot because I told him I said I just need to rant. Yeah, yeah. I'm re- I'm actually pretty excited about it too because I just love rants. So, so commitments. This is what I want to talk about today. Yeah, making and keeping commitments. And I want to say this: I appreciate you, Jeffrey, because you keep your commitments. And. Because of the stuff I'm about to rant about that happened this past week, I value it even so much more. I mean, I always valued that, but I value it in an extra special way this week. So your your value has gone up, is what I'm trying to say. Well, thank you. Thank yes. you, Lindsay. So, here's what happened last week. Tell me. Week. I'm curious. Um, so I did. I set up a photo shoot. Okay. Because we need some pictures on our website. And if anyone has gotten on our website lately, you have seen it's not done yet. Okay. It's a work yeah. in progress. Yeah. We had it done and we redid it, but the redo is not quite finished yet. But we went ahead and put it up because it looked better than the old one. Okay. So it's kind of this limbo phase right now. So some of the photos in there are stock photos. They don't look fantastic. So my web designer says... Why don't you take some shots of you, your staff, like, you guys, so people can see you, not just some random model. Yeah, exactly. So I get all of this set up. Now, you probably already know this about me, but normally, I'm a five-minute get-ready person. If I can't do it in five minutes in the morning, it's not going to happen. And most of the five minutes is brushing teeth, okay? Yeah, yeah. That's at least a few minutes, so... (laughs) So, basically, I take no time, and it shows in a lot of my videos. Now, I actually did it today, Jeffrey. I Look, I straightened my hair. You did. I even did my makeup. You did. It's all it's, done. It, I know. It's this a miracle. Took, this took more than five minutes. It did. Okay. It did. So, and I did that because I've looked at my YouTube videos lately and, like, man, I need to, like, put some effort into this, dude. Like, I look like I just rolled out of bed, and I did. So... You know, I put some effort in this okay. morning. I okay. actually set my alarm like 30 minutes back and and I did it. So anyway, all this to say I set for this photo shoot. I set up the photo shoot and then I shut up hair and makeup appointment. Yeah. I set nail appointment. The whole nine yards, right? Yeah. This is a lot of effort. This you're is a lot this. of effort. I mean, I blocked a day of my calendar to do this. This is like a month of daily preparation for you in one day. Yes. Okay. This is a lot. I'm really building up to this, Jeffrey. I see. I see. Okay. So then I talk to my web designer. I tell her, okay, I've got this on the books. Can you come so you can help us coordinate what shots would be good for our website? I coordinate it with my staff. Like, all right, team, we're going to come on this day. 
you know, who can come? Only one of my employees was available. I'm like, that's fine. We'll have the web designer. We'll, you know, do some group things and whatever. Some headshots, all that good stuff. All right, so day comes. I am got the nails done, got the hair done. I even did the eyelash thing. Oh, really? I mean, all I, done up. I was all done up. I packed a huge suitcase full of different outfits so we could do outfit changes, right? Oh, okay. And not just the clothes. I had the shoes, the belts, the jewelry. I had a whole container full of different jewelry, earrings, necklaces, different color belts, different shoes. A huge, massive, heavy suitcase I brought with me. When okay? you said photo shoot, you meant I photo meant shoot. Like, photo this shoot. is full preparation. I was like, I'm doing this one time. And yeah. I'm going to make it count. It's a lot of effort. Because I don't want to do this again for a really long time. It's a lot of effort. Anyway, I show up at this place, and it's at one of these co-working places where prof um, creative professionals, right? Mm. Like, what do you call that? It's co-working spaces, yeah, co right? Yeah, okay. So they have different studios and all kinds of things where you okay. can snap photos. And they have the equipment and all that good stuff. Well, it's on the third floor. And okay. I'm there with my big suitcase. Oh, and I have my bag with my laptop and my tablet and everything because we're going to do all kinds of props, you know, mm, for office, the office look, yeah, right? okay. So I am weighed down. <laughs> <laughs> and done up. I'm trying to figure out how to get to the third floor. I get to the elevator and it's got a sign that says out of order. Mm. Like, you've got to be kidding me. Please tell me. Yeah. I'm not going to have to walk to the third floor with all this freaking stuff. So I start calling the photographer trying to figure out, is there any way for me to get up there? That does not require me going up three flights of yeah. stairs with all be another of elevator here somewhere. Please. He's not answering the phone. I'm texting. I'm walking around just trying to find any other way to get up there. And I'm not the only one, by the way. I can't even find stairs, by the way. Oh. Couldn't find stairs. Lost. Couldn't find. Yeah, I'm walking around this place, and I'm not the only one. Other people are walking around like, "Have you seen the stairs?" I'm like, "No." It's so confusing. Yeah. Anyway, finally, the photographer calls me back, and he's like, "Do we have an appointment? <laughs> Do we have an appointment?" That was his response. That, that was was his response. <laughs> Do we have an appointment? No, I'm just randomly texting you, asking you where the elevator and the stairs are. I, I, I said, not only do we have an appointment, <laughs> we have a photo shoot for which I have done hair, makeup, nails, and a suitcase full of stuff that I'm dragging around for changes of clothes, so please tell me that you're available <laughs> to come do a photo shoot. <laughs> First of all, that's terrible. Yeah. That's a lot of effort you put into this. So, he says, well, I don't have anything going on this afternoon. I can come up there and do it. Like, oh, how nice of you. Yes, how thank nice you for fitting me into your busy <laughs> schedule. At our scheduled appointment time. <laughs> yes. He's like, I'll be up there in about 20 minutes. I'm like, okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, he does tell me where another elevator is, though. So, thankfully, did not have to walk up the so stairs with all elevator. of this. Okay. So, I get up there, and of course, I'm waiting for 20 minutes. Well, prior to this, my employee had already messaged me to tell me that she was not going to be able to make it because of a family situation that had come up. So, I knew already that she was not going to be able to come. I'm up there, I'm now waiting for my web designer, who is the last person that's supposed to show up this today. She's not there yet. So I texted her, and just to kind of let her know how to get up to this place, that took me forever to figure out. Yeah, yeah. And she messages me back and says, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I'm all the way across town, I completely forgot. <laughs> so here I am, all dolled up. Yeah. And this whole group that was supposed to be helping me with this, none of them are there. I had this, like, really low moment. I was like, you know, and I'm not normally a depressed or lonely person, but in that moment, I felt very alone. Yeah. 
Like, I have spent, like, I have planned this. This has been on my calendar. I've been purposely not planning anything today and telling people I had to book other days all centered around this. Yeah. For which no one else could even bother to remember. Because this is not just one person either. This is this is yeah. three or four. Yeah. That all at the same time didn't show up. Yes. I yeah. felt very alone. I just had this, like, really down moment. Like, yeah. No one cares. Just like one of those that donkey from from Shrek. I was just thinking of his what? song. All alone. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. That's how I felt. I was like, this sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Well but I mean so that was commitments though. Commitments. There's a lot of commitments. Commitments. And here's what I appreciate about you, Jeffrey, because you and I, like, we've done several things together. Not only mm-hmm. podcasts. You're doing my payroll now. You're doing payroll for some of my clients now. And then now we're talking about business endeavors we want to do together. Yeah, we work together no a lot. No matter what we're working on, I can count on you to get it done. Yeah. And, like, I'm a big commitment person. If I make a commitment, come hell or high water, I am going to keep that commitment. Which is why I'm really careful what I commit to. Because yeah. I know once I say I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. I don't care if a better offer comes along. I don't I don't care. I'm going to do it. So I'm big on that. Yeah. So you, though, make me feel like I'm kind of slipping up on the commitments because you and I came up with a to-do list oh, of, goodness. like, <laughs> what I'm going to do this week and what you're going to do this week. And, Jeffrey, you did both. <laughs> because here's the thing. Not only will you do it, but you're, like, super prepared, like, in advance. And that's not how I operate. You know this. Yeah. I am a... Oh, yeah, that needs to get done on the fly, kind of, you know, so I'll get it done, but it's probably going to be five minutes before it's due. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But you are a planner, and you do things in advance, so that's where you and I differ. We'll both get it done, but you're going to get it done first. But that's why we both work together so well. You think so? I do, because, so if I'm the planner, like, you're used to just thinking on your feet. Definitely. Which, in day-to-day situations, come up a lot. Yes. And, and you're just ready for it. Like, you don't even... I've seen yeah. you. I've seen stuff hit you. Like, <laughs> your photographer calling out on you and nobody else showing up. And, and you just... You made something happen, right? Like, you would have done selfies there if you had to. <laughs> I didn't, and, actually. <laughs> did you? You should have. Well, I had 20 minutes well, until anyone showed up. <laughs> and, you, and you got all dressed up. But So it's that kind of pivot, right? You, you did that. So, you know, there's something for everybody. But you're, you're right. It, it does take a frame of mind mm-hmm. to be... to it, And it doesn't really mean... Pre- Preparation, like when you say commitment, like all the all that person had to do was just show up. Mm-hmm. Like it's not like they had to do homework beforehand. <laughs> so you know what I mean. So commitment is uh, there's a lot of versions of commitment. It's funny you mentioned that because when we set the appointment for the photo shoot, he had told me he was going to look at my website mm. to get some ideas on some things that we could do that would fit into the website. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So obviously the homework that we did talk about. <laughs> He didn't do Did that. Not yeah, got it. Yeah, I would say. But even without the homework, if he had just showed up. Yes. That would have been better. Agreed. Yeah. Well, if anyone had showed up, yeah, that's that would have been better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But just, I, I've seen how when you don't keep a commitment, you basically have shown that person you're not important. Yeah. Yeah. So That's you what were, it comes down to. Yes, absolutely. Now, you know the next day you and I had met that yeah, afternoon. Yeah, we did. Okay. We did. And I go into this meeting with Jeffrey, and I am, like, fired up because I had just had all that happen the day before. Then the next morning. Oh, that's right. The next morning, I had three meetings scheduled before Jeffrey. Yeah. Two out of the three meetings were no show, no call, no show. Completely, like, texting the person, hello, um, are we still meeting? Right? Now, one of them realized it when, I guess, their calendar popped up. So, at the time of the meeting, they were texting me saying, oh, I'm so sorry, I completely forgot. Got it. I didn't see the text. I was on my computer, so I'm emailing them, like, just checking in. Are we still meeting? Yeah. Because we were doing a Zoom meeting. Oh, got it. Nothing. And then finally get an email back. Oh, so sorry. I thought you would see your text. The text that you sent like two minutes before the meeting? At the time of the uh, meeting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, 
What's worse about that is that it was a Zoom call, though. Yes! Like, I've yes. forgotten I had Zoom calls until two minutes before. Right. I was still on the Zoom call. Right. It's a Zoom call. That's the point. <laughs> yeah. So then the next one was also a Zoom call. That was the one I had right before you. Okay. And nothing. Nothing. I'm not getting calls, texts, anything. I'm on the Zoom call. I'm emailing. I'm texting. Yeah. Not getting any response back. I then, like, that. 20 minutes later, after I've already said, well, I'm sorry it didn't work out. We'll have to reschedule for another time. Just let me know what works for you. You know, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Don't hear anything until, like, 20 minutes after our scheduled meeting time. Oh, I'm so sorry. You still want to do it? Okay, by this time, I had already called you. And yeah. like, Jeffrey... Let's, let's go, now. go. Yeah, Like, let's go where now. can we yeah. get the margaritas? Like, I'm so done with this. <laughs> yeah. So, this is why I was fired up. When I When I came to the meeting with you. I I'm remember like, that. you know what? This is what we're talking about for our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but it's surprising how often it comes up. Because you and I sat there and swapped stories for a while mm -hmm. back and forth. Um, because, first of all, that is not the first time in the last, let's say, three weeks that you and I have had plans... And the person before canceled at the last minute, so you called me and said, hey, can you meet me earlier? Yes. Which, luckily, I was able to last time, too. Um, but, so, it's not even just the most recent time. It yeah. was the time before that You're as right. well. You're right. I forgot about that. Yeah. That, right. that you had another appointment. Just yes. No call no. to show you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And you're in sales, so you get this a lot, I'm sure. It, it does happen a lot. Um, but... But here's what's funny, is at our, our meeting that day... Yeah. I'm going, I'm ranting about this. Like, I am, like, done. And Jeffrey, Jeffrey, <laughs> Jeffrey, the positive Jeffrey, is like, well, you know, I don't mind when it happens. I, I can get more done. Right? I'm, like, on a tangent. I know, I know. And Jeffrey's over here, like, silver lining. Well, because I never have time to catch up on emails and stuff. So when an appointment cancels, I'm like, ah, this is 30 minutes or this is an hour. I'm knocking all of these out. I don't know. I, I have to try to be positive to keep from crying because <laughs> <laughs> because you know how it is. Like, how defeated do you feel after the third person doesn't show up to your no, meeting? No, I feel like you and I should make a drinking game out of this. Um, or maybe just a standing drinking appointment, right? Whenever someone doesn't show up, we just get together and get the margaritas out. You know, it happens so often that we're going to cause a problem for ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're going to be meeting up, like, on the daily, like, all right, okay. it's time for a shot. We'll do iced tea instead. <laughs> we'll have an iced tea gathering. Yes. I mean, you don't love tea as much as I do, though. I don't... I, I do love tea. Coffee, maybe? A coffee. Long Island iced tea. Um, <laughs> I thought we were trying to find an oh, alternative. Oh, 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 alternative. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, yeah. keeping commitments, getting back to our topic. Well, no, but um, how important is that? Very, very important. When running a business, because you run a business. Absolutely. How important is commitments to you? And I understand there are appointments that are not fun. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. I've yeah. sat through appointments I really didn't want to be there. Yeah. I've done commitments and really didn't want to be there. I get it. But I don't even think it's that. I don't think it's a conscious, oh, I don't want to be there thing. I think it was just a failure to plan and be organized more than anything, is what I believe. What do you think? Um, well, I mean, so for the one person, they said that they forgot until two minutes before. I mean, so they all three forgot on yeah. you. So, well, one yeah. of them didn't forget. She just had a family. Oh, that's right. So at least she told me in advance. Yes. Yes. So, so two people out of the three forgot. Yes. And, and so and that, that's the two people the next day. The two people the next day forgot. So that's yeah. four out of five that forgot. That, that's just being disorganized, yeah. wouldn't it? Yes. I agree. And... Yeah. Calendars, people. Calendars. So how do you keep yourself organized? Oh, I live and breathe and yeah. die off my calendar. If it's not on my calendar, I will forget. And happening. I know that. Yeah. You know how many random things are on my calendar? Mm -hmm. Like random stuff. Yeah. Because I know it's not going to happen if I don't put it on my calendar. I use my calendar the same way. And that's the only way it works. Um, because if I don't put it on my calendar... Yeah. I'm just going to forget. And you'll see me, like, as soon as somebody mentions something, like, yes. hey, can you send me? Yes. Or, hey, can we? I'm like, yeah, let me get my phone out. Because yes. if it's not on my calendar, I have to put my bills on my calendar. Otherwise, I'll forget those, too. So, auto pay. Uh, uh, no. Auto pay. 
Auto pay. <laughs> I don't even bother with that. Just put it on auto pay and be done. My point is, is but you're right. You're, you're 100% right. So, being organized. Yes. Keeping on top of it. Because in the end, you don't want somebody to feel, first of all, like you felt. Right. Nobody needs to feel like Lonely right. Donkey. That's right. All alone. Yeah. Nobody no one here. Cares. Yeah. Um, and then, secondly. Can we play that? We need to yeah, get a clip of that. that. Although we might have to play royalties or something. I know, right? I do love that song, though. And I do sing it often. Do you really? <laughs> when I'm really being dramatic, I'm like, I'm all alone. Yeah, it's hilarious. Um, no, people get tired of it, though. But, uh, <laughs> but my and point does is... does that make you feel more alone? Exactly. <laughs> and, and, but then you also felt like you were less important. Oh, absolutely. Right? Like, of then course. whatever they have going exactly. on. Exactly. And nobody, I mean, hopefully nobody's wanting to make you feel that way. I don't think it was intentional. Yeah. But. But it that's still happened. happened. Yes. Yeah. And it still doesn't give me excitement about working with any of those people again. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And kind of you did. probably won't. Well, they're, in some cases it's employees, so uh, yeah, I well, would be. Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> I guess that's true. <laughs> but that not that worse when you do it to your boss? Yeah, I don't think I would do that. I, 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 I mean, I don't miss any meetings with my I boss. I mean, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and Yeah, I mean, so the people that I can choose not to do business with anymore? That's true. Probably yeah. not going to be signing up for that again. Well, and that's the angle I was thinking, right? So as somebody who has a small business, you know, keeping your commitments is a big deal. Yes. Especially if you're trying to grow. Um, and, and if you're not, then I guess that's nice. But if you're not keeping your commitments, you're not going to get follow-ups. You're not going to have people right. returning you to do business with you. And they're not going to recommend you to their friends and family or anybody. And I'll say this from an employer standpoint, too. Because we kind of touched on yeah. this. Um, I know the employees that I can count on. Mm -hmm. I have one in particular... Who, she is so on top of things. I know, you know, as much as I would love to think I'm on top of everything, she's on me about, oh, did you remember? Mm, I nice, love that. Nice, yes. I love that. Because I, you know, like I said, I can be a last minute person. So yeah. I'm going to get it done. But it may be right there at the yeah. last minute when it's due, right? Yeah. So I love the fact that she's there before that point just to, hey, just a reminder yeah. Love that. That is right? awesome. Yeah. So there is just this level of confidence with her. I have so much trust with her because I know she has, I don't even know how she keeps herself organized, but somewhere she has things filed or organized so that she is on top of it and getting things done before they need to get done. Love that. Yeah. And as a business owner, anxiety level goes so far down with an employee like that. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, okay, I have this sense of peace with this employee yeah. that I'm not in the back of my mind thinking, I probably need to check on that. Oh, I need to make sure to follow up on that. I don't have to do that with her. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. Yeah. Just gave her a raise. <laughs> she is so valuable because of, I mean, a lot of reasons, but that right there is priceless. Yeah, it is. It is, because that's not just getting somebody, not just having somebody that can do the job or will do the job, but that's somebody who you can just completely, like, give something to and yes. walk away. right. Which is peace of mind. Which yes. Which is worth peace way more. Peace of mind. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Especially as a business owner. Peace of mind. You cannot put a price on that. Yeah, exactly. Fantastic. you got enough so, going on. So, this is not only for a business owner and salesperson. This is for an employee. Keep your okay. commitments. Yeah. And help others keep theirs. Everybody should it's be. Huge. Yeah, yeah. And work together, right? So, like you said, you are not good at that. You, you're not good at preparing, right, and doing it. You like to do it. You like to do it in the moment, I'm, and that's your thing. Well, but you make I'm sure I'm not it's good done. at preparing in advance. Oh, okay. In advance. I like to prepare on the fly. But you still get it done. I get it done. My point yes. is, is that no matter where you done. are on that, you can still get it done. Yes. Yes. On time and be reliable. Yeah. So. But here's with the list that I was talking about earlier with the mm. stuff that you and I were supposed to yeah. do. And then you did both the lists. <laughs> I feel like I, I failed my commitment to you. No, Jeffrey, don't. Because you got on top of it before me. I was like, dang it. 
<laughs> You're making me feel like a slacker. One thing just led into the other. Like I was, I was doing my thing, and your thing was there, and I was like, oh, I'll just take a screenshot and write about it. It'll be fine. Like, <laughs> but this is one thing I really value and appreciate about you. So I want you to yeah. know that. Thank you. Because no, you have definitely, I have my trust in you that you're going to keep commitments, and that's so important, especially since you do payroll. Oh. That's a huge thing. <laughs> Yeah, I don't right? want to have any, any anxiety when it comes to m- my payroll or my client's payroll. That's the last thing you should be worried so about. So I feel yeah. very confident in having you in charge of that. Well, so thank you. Yeah. I gotta tell you that. Yeah, thanks. Because um, it, payroll, especially with, when you're mm-hmm. working with people's money, your employees' money, right? I mean, they're not volunteering just mm-hmm. to be nice. They're there to get mm-hmm. their money, and it's important to make sure that they get it on time. Yes. Um, just a little yeah. bit. Yeah, just, just a little slightly. bit. Slightly. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> not a huge deal, but... <laughs> you know, I mean... <laughs> maybe they are volunteering. They just like spending time with you. Yeah, so. yeah I'm sure that's it. <laughs> sure that's it. They just love me that much. <laughs> I wish. Oh, man. No, but, but you're right. I'm sorry that you went through all that. Like, in such a short amount of time. So, I, uh, I don't know what the answer is exactly except be organized Mm -hmm. i think that's huge yeah um make sure to put reminders up right Mm -hmm. but i've noticed not not everyone works that way right because i have all my calendar digital i have it on my phone i have it on my computer um i have reminders that pop up not everyone seems to work that way though you know you got to do what's going to work best for you not everybody's brain works the same way and so some people, that's what they need. Other people need to write it down. I find it both ways. So maybe a written calendar. But yeah. whatever you do, you got to actually get it in there. It doesn't somehow. matter if it's post-its on your monitor. Like, whatever it takes, just make sure it that gets done. That gives me anxiety. It gives me anxiety, too, because <laughs> I've had post-its walk away before. Yeah, well, not and, only that, yeah. but I can have a post-it note sitting right there. Like, do whatever and ignore it completely. That's, but there's some people who do it. Because I've seen it. We've, you, you've met somebody that has post-its yeah, like, all sure. over. And they get their so, stuff done. So, like, whatever it takes. Okay. Just get it yeah, done. I just don't think that way. So, yeah. that gives me anxiety. <laughs> gives me of anxiety. all the things that could be missed. Yeah. Because either the post-it note got dropped or I just didn't look at it. Yeah. Or whatever. Exactly. Exactly. So, you need something that yells at you. Like your calendar yes. when it pops up and it's like, yeah. hey, do this. Gotcha. Well, I mean, I seriously, I have to look at my calendar every day. Yeah. And I'm trying to get better about looking at it the day before because that always helps. <laughs> T- why? Why does looking at it the day before help? So that I can plan my day in advance, mm. right? Mm-hmm. Think through the logistics of where I need to be when, yeah. right? Rather than doing it as it happens, mm-hmm. which tends to be how it goes, right? Got so. It. One thing I can do on my end that I should have done when I got stood up by all these people is confirmed commitments the day before, yeah. right? Yeah. Confirm the appointment. Absolutely. Had I sent a text or email the day before to the photographer and said, just confirming our appointment, that would have gone very differently. If I had done that with the web designer, that would have gone differently, right? It would have. It would have. Um, but I, I, on principle, don't feel like I should have to do that. You no one shouldn't. has to do that with me. You shouldn't. And I don't, right? We don't confirm no. with each other. No. We show up. Yeah. And we meet. So. But I know I can do that with you. Because yes. I definitely confirm with other people. Okay. The morning Which is, up. It's smart. It's smart. But I have this just inner conflict <laughs> about why should I have to do it? Why should I have to spend my time yeah. babysitting you? Yeah. Exactly. That's how it feels to me. And that's what you're doing. Yes. Yeah, that is what you're doing. Like, I, I don't feel like I should have to do that, but that's what it feels like. So, but at the same time, I could, I get myself in these pickles because I don't. Because <laughs> you don't. Yeah. So, it's a catch-22. It is a catch-22, but there are some steps that you can take, like reaching out, sending text messages. Um, when If you are the one that send the calendar invite... You can also set remind. You can set when the reminder will pop up. Before See, maybe you send that's it. what I need to do too. Because I, I, okay, I purposely don't include people on my invites. Typically, oh, you don't? Oh, no, because sometimes I like to change the time to give me breathing room. Mm. Okay, so I'll set like an appointment for two hours just so I block the time on my calendar and I don't plan anything after that. That does not mean. 
that I want to meet with you. Got it. For two, no, not you, yeah. Jeffrey. No, no, you no. and I easily eat meat for three or four hours at a time. At least, yeah. So I don't mean you as in No, but Jeffrey. I get it. You're right. But, but that's general, how you organize your calendar. I organize my calendar so I'm blocking enough time, but I don't want that person thinking <laughs> that I want to sit with them for two hours. Because in most cases, you're the exception not to want to sit with you for two hours. You're like, well, we're getting on the 30 minute mark. It's time to move on. <laughs> what are your ways of ending an appointment that you really want to get out of? <laughs> um, well, well, we're going to share the secret. Yeah, I don't, like, no I, one... should, I don't know if I should. I don't know if I should. Yeah, like, who listens? Who's going to hear this that I've done this to that I'm, I'm worried about? No, um,. So, usually, usually I just kind of, well, it depends on the situation. Okay. Um, if, if somebody is kind of, you know those people that just ramble and never give you yes. a word in edgewise? Uh-huh. Um, at, at those points, usually you just have to wait for them to get distracted. <laughs> Right, like, right, like the waiter comes up and says something, or, or if I have to, like, I'll just like hit my cup off the table and just let it shatter, and that way it can stop their train of thought, and I can say, oh, I need to clean this up, but at the same time, I also gotta go, so it was nice talking to you. Um, yeah, whatever it takes. I mean, oh my goodness, that is hilarious. So if you ever meet with Jeffrey and all of a sudden. Why? This is gonna happen on accident. <laughs> this is gonna happen on accident. Somebody's gonna think I did it on purpose now. <laughs> I heard you say you do this. <laughs> oh wow! But, I mean, but we've talked. We talked about this. I think that same day when when you got stood up twice, we talked about what happens when you're in a meeting that yeah. that takes too long. Yes. What, what, what do you do? Um. Oh boy, I'm trying to think now. What are my tactics? But you're right. Whenever you have someone that just is not giving you a word in edgewise. Those are the worst. And you're just waiting for the pause, right? And it's so awkward. This guy's got to take a breath sometime. (laughs) (laughs) And the only thing you're thinking about is, how can I get out of here? Exit strategy. Exit strategy. Exit strategy. (laughs) It's like, okay, at some point I've got to intercept here to say, I need to go. Yeah. Those are the worst. They're the worst. And how do you get out of them? I, 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 I'm still, I think, trying to come up with a strategy, but now I've got the cup strategy. The cup thing works. <laughs> the cup thing works. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I well, and here's one thing that I try to remember to do, but I often forget, is set the time at the beginning. Right? I have a hard stop at. Yes. That works beautifully. It because does. then they're aware that you have... Whatever, right? 30 minutes. And it's usually 30 minutes, right? Yeah. That, or maybe an hour. But you find a time that you've got to go to your next appointment. Mm-hmm. Let them know that at the beginning so that when that time comes, it's not like you're just trying to... Which in some well, I'm like 15 are. minutes before, you need to start wrapping up, right? So you got to keep an eye on your phone or, or whatever. I try and make not sure, to do that. Like, well, no, no, no. But I mean, like, if you have a hard stop, like... Keep them accountable to that. Well, like, hey, like, time, do we need to schedule something else? Most of the time, my hard stop is fake. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. Like, I told you, I block, I block time, right? So that if it is going well, I have time. You've hard stopped me so many but, times, Lindsay. No, I'm just no. kidding. Jeffrey, this, none of this applies to you. I actually playing. like meeting with you. No, I know, I know. I'm just playing. We have fun. Yeah. We have fun. But that's what that extra time is for. Yes. I definitely do that, but I do that without putting it on my calendar. So I'll put space yeah. in between. Okay. I don't block it yeah. necessarily. Okay. Now, sometimes I legitimately do have back-to-back meetings. Yeah. That does happen. I'm not saying it doesn't. But there's often times when it's just like, I just want to get out of here. There are so many better things I could be doing right now than listening to this. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's the best strategy if I can remember to do it. And oftentimes I forget and I'm like, Crap. Yeah. I just forgot. Have a hard stop. Yeah. Can't can't go past. Yeah. Can't go past this time. Gotta go. Gotta but then if you're time. having a good time, then you're just like, yeah. oh, my la- my next yeah. meeting canceled on me, man. Well, now, I don't <laughs> lie. I don't lie. But usually if it's going well, you just let the time pass and no one notices. Oh, got you know it. what I'm saying? Okay. So you're setting the expectation. Yes. But then you have the discretion to enforce it right. or not. Okay. Right. 
right, exactly. No, I like it, it works well. I, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm going to try that because I've gotten stuck. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've gotten stuck a few times. Uh, yeah, so it's super fun. Do you remember how you and I initially interacted? I do. Do you want to recap that? Yes, I, I recap remember it. the first few minutes of our conversation. No, like before we met in person. What do you mean? Like on LinkedIn? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you reached out to me on LinkedIn. I did reach out to you on LinkedIn. Isn't that weird? It, it's crazy. It I is mean, crazy. It, but I... When I think about it, I'm like, this is how it all started. <laughs> so I message. want you to tell me, because I've never asked you. Like, do you just randomly... No. Ping people on I don't. LinkedIn? I don't. Normally. How did you come about... So, messaging me. I, I was probably just trying to um, generate some new connections. So, I mean, I do. I'm very active on LinkedIn. So, I not that I'm not. Um, I'm very active on LinkedIn. And so, when there's suggestions, but I don't remember if you were suggesting if I was looking for people that are in your industry specifically. So, it was one of those other. So, you like to network with the bookkeepers. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. I mean, there, there's obviously so you type a synergy in, there. Like, yeah. Bookkeepers? Well, so what I have done is there's a, there's a Salesforce like pro okay. that you can pay for. Okay. Um, that will give you access to, I mean, you can put in like the area that you're looking for and you can break it down by industry and then you can break it down by title. Okay. Um, and so you can get very specific on what you're looking for. So is that for. how you found me? Or you I don't remember? remember. I think you were a friend of a friend though. Okay. I think that we had a common connection and I okay. saw... Okay. You know, that you, that who you were and what you did. And I was like, oh, like, let's connect. But okay. did I message you first? Yes. Okay. Yes. So I sent you a message. But here is the thing with me. I get messaged on LinkedIn. I'm sure you do yeah. too. All, right. All the time. All the time. So much spam So what there. was my message then? So the difference is, is that you actually wanted to meet. Mm. I will meet with anyone that wants to meet. Got it. You want to set up a meeting with me? Let's, Let's go. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's and you did. You accepted. I remember. Yeah, absolutely. You were like, I will meet with I'm going to be here at this time. Let's go. Yeah. Let's That's do basically it. Basically what you said. Yeah. yeah. So if you message me and you start talking about your product or service, right, and start rambling about that, which I get that on LinkedIn all the time, ignore. I'm going to the next thing. If you message me and want to set up a call... Ignore going to the next thing. I, I don't know. Got it. So I'm it's not, reaching out and saying, hey, I'd like can to meet. we meet? Yeah. Yes. That makes a difference. I will meet with you in person. I am not going to set up a call. I am not going to set up a Zoom. Like, yeah. that just screams, you're going to pitch me, right? <laughs> and, and really, and that's not the approach I take at all. My approach is very much, I have a lot of people. I network with a lot of people that are in the same industry as you, mm -hmm. um, you know, that are bankers, finance, whatever, and I don't do business with all of them. I am very much focused on building my network and being um, being somebody that, that they can use, being yes. valuable to them, yes. and then business generates off of that. So my pitch probably, and I'm hoping it wasn't, but my message to you was probably just like, hey, I'm looking to network with people in my area, and we're in the same we industry. Should, let's do you want to look I'll it up? Find yeah. it. Yeah. But yeah, it probably was, and I think that's what appealed to me was it wasn't it wasn't just a pitch. It was you wanting to connect and actually And let's talk. Meet. Yeah. So that was very effective with me. I will do that all day any day. I'm not going to get on Zoom with somebody. Yeah. Not going to Well, because they don't show up. Well. <laughs> Part of it, but you know what? It, to, to me, it screams that a you're going to pitch me, and you may be able to find it faster than me. I'm like yeah, scrolling through all these spam up. messages trying to find you, but um, it screams that you want to pitch me, and it also says to me, I really don't want to invest much time in this, right? They're not going to put in the, the effort fact, to go and meet you. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I found it. By the way, you need to change your picture. Yeah. Your LinkedIn I, profile you picture. <laughs> Look at this. I, I love know. how you're Can calling me see? out. I don't oh know. Can we see this on the camera? This is so sad. It's not even in focus. Like, I, I mean, even an iPhone has better. Like, what? what? Like, what is going on here? Um, <laughs> you want to know what it is? Is I have just never gotten my hair to look like that ever again. And not, no, I'm just kidding. Like, no. Makeup no. was perfect that I, I day. I feel like you could take perfect. a selfie right now and it would be ten times better you than what you have. You should have told me you were having a photo shoot. I um, would have went. I should I, I have. Gotten and you would have actually showed up. I could have been in your picture. Yeah, well, I would have been on your company website. I'm probably going to have to do another one. So I will invite <laughs> you next Just let me know time. and I will go. I will. 
In, okay, so you don't have payroll guru on here. You have human capital management guru. Well, so just, th that's the technical term okay. of what I do. Anyway, here's the first it. message that Jeffrey sent. And we're so on such a big tangent. No, this like, is good stuff. Well, okay, it says, Hi, Lindsay. I am always looking to expand my network with business professionals. Perhaps there's a partnership. I just noticed you misspelled partnership. What did I say? It is amazing that you got anywhere with this. Partnership opportunity, it says. Partnership. Let's connect. Okay. Well, that, at least that you know, was, wasn't a robot. I was typing. That's and true. And I made a typo. That's true. So that was whenever you sent the connection. Then once we actually connected, then you sent me a message saying, thank you for the connection. I would love to connect with you soon and see how we can partner. Do you have time for a meeting next week? Mm -hmm. Yeah. See? Yeah. That was what did it. Let's meet. Let's meet. Yeah. And then what did you say? You, you agreed, uh, like, immediately, right? You, you see didn't... what I said. We were focusing on you, but... I said, hi, Jeff. Sure, you want to do lunch? Yeah. What area are you in? You even we... gave me a place. Yes. And we went. Yes. That's where I met did. you. Zoe's Kitchen. Now we got on food. We're in trouble now. Yeah. There we Zoe's go. Kitchen. <laughs> I do love that place. <laughs> That's where we met. That is and where we met. And it was awesome. I remember meeting you there, because I thought the restaurant was closed. Remember? No, I don't remember. Like I, w I was like a few minutes late to our meeting because I walked up to late. the door. I was. You're I walked usually... up to the front door and it was locked. Oh, wow. So and I had to go around door. to the to-go oh. oh, around okay. the side door, which is probably the one you went in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I, I was late that. to our first meeting and you didn't, you didn't call I didn't me out. I didn't even notice. Yeah. Which, at that point, I didn't know you. So yeah, maybe I just thought that was part of your... My... Your, your <laughs> stick. <laughs> to be She's late. She's always late. No. No, normally Jeffrey is very... Very punctual. I try to be. Sometimes, yeah. you know. But it needs to be the exception, not the rule, right? Yes. Like, sometimes Very things much. happen. Yes. And you run a few minutes late. But I just wanted to point that out, that you actually wanted to make a connection. And so, automatically, I can see this is a person that's willing to invest time, right? right? And it it's an indicator, not necessarily a 100% indicator, but it's an indicator that this is a person that's probably got more of an abundancy mindset mm. that mm. isn't just about sales. Mm -hmm. but more relationship-based. Yeah. So I will always go for that far, far more than I'm going to go for any of the other crap that I get all the time on LinkedIn. Well, and I think that that does, I mean, if we're going to tie this up with, with, with um, keeping your commitments, okay. right? Um, because you're right, like the people that send those messages, like, you know, you can tell they're blasting out. They're yes. sending out robots, yes. they're sending out whatever, copy paste, right. however they're doing it all. Um, and you can tell that they are, they're there just for, to do a quick transaction. I'm going to come in, I'm going to show you whatever, and then I'm right. never going to talk to you again. Right. And those are not the people that you necessarily want to work with. No. Because they, they, they won't call or they won't show up or, yes. or they're just there because you're another number. And those right. are not the kind of people that are going to consistently keep up their commitments to you. That's right. And your clients because your situation's different because it's not just that you're signing up for payroll for yourself mm -hmm. and you're, you know, and then if it's wrong and if it's bad, then, oh man, I messed up and I have to do it myself. No, this is, these are your clients. And, and really, even though they know we're not the same company, it's still a representation of you. So you got to make sure that you're, you're doing so that. So I could see you being the person that even if you left this company, pay entry. Yeah. Years down the road, I could still call you and Jeffrey, help me out here. And People you do. Still, I was going to say, Absolutely. you left. Absolutely. Because you left a national payroll company. I left a company. national company. So I was about to ask, do you still help people that are with that other company? I do. I knew I it. I do. I do. Um, yeah, so, like, specific weird things. So, not necessarily, like, system stuff anymore, but definitely, like, payroll-related. Hey, this tax does this, or this does this, or, you know, how do I help this person sign up for this ID? Do these Very customers much. even know that you don't work there anymore? They don't. They don't. <laughs> Absolutely not. It, it's really funny that you tell me that, because literally, I think it was on my way to go meet you last week. I was on the call for, like, 30 minutes on my drive. Because he had gotten notices and stuff, and his workers <laughs> comp audit didn't go through, and he was just a mess. And he called me, and he's like, hey, you're the only person that answered. I need your help. And so he emailed me everything, and I'm telling him exactly what to do. Um, and, and, and I actually need to follow up with him today to see how it went. But yeah, absolutely. This is why, absolutely. one of the reasons why I love you, Jeffrey. Well, it's like, you, you're going to help people, even if you get nothing out of it. You are there for them. 
Which is amazing. I just like to be helpful. And, and you know, like I've said before on your show, is that I, I just know a lot of this stuff about payroll that's absolutely useless unless I get to put it out there in the world. So <laughs> give me the opportunity to use what I've learned. <laughs> yeah, can you learn photography so I can just have you do my headshots too? <laughs> I mean, if you rent the equipment, I'm pretty sure I will figure out how to take an okay. excellent picture. Good to know. I'm, yeah. I'm just going to start giving you all the business for everything I do. I mean, I'll figure it out. Uh, That's least, the thing. At least I know you'll show up. <laughs> at least you will show know. up. Yeah. You know, I was actually just listening to, it might have been a podcast or it might have been um, or another show or something, but the, this person, and it might have been one of these famous people like Gary Vee or Grant Cardone or something like that, but they were talking, it's not hard to be successful right now. It's really not difficult to be successful right now. And what he was saying is, like, and he gave the example of construction workers, and he said, you know, if you do construction and you show up to give a bid, you're already ahead of 50% mm. of the people. Yeah, that's a good point. Because you just showed up to give the bid. Yeah. Then if you show up to do the job on time, well, now you're ahead of 80% of your competition. Mm. And then if you finish the job on time, you're probably one of the only ones in your area mm. that actually does that. And that was all because of commitments. And right now, in our economy and in our current situation, I truthfully believe that, that it doesn't take much to be successful because the business is there. Yes. There's people that need yes. services. They're desperate. And, and people aren't showing up. Yep. And, and it happens so much. Like, we've mentioned, I mean, these are all business owners. Like, yeah. those four appointments that you had in two days were all business owners, right? Well, no. No, oh, one was an employee. Yes. So three of them were small business owners. My yes. point is, yes. is that three out of three yes. small business owners that you had meetings with didn't show up. Mm -hmm. Yes. There's You're an right. opportunity here. Absolutely. If you, if you Absolutely. know, so, if you have a skill, get out there and do it. And, and show up. And especially if you don't have that business yet. Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. What is that saying about you that you can't even make the appointment yeah. to talk about the business? It's absolutely true. It's Not absolutely a good true. sign. Yeah. Not a good look. Yeah. And, 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 and in my world, and I'm sure you've had the same situation, I've had people, you know, switching over to my service or, or calling me back. I might have had a sales call and they decided I wasn't the best fit for them, but then I'm the only one that called back. Yep. And so they're calling me and they're like, all right, let's figure out how we're going to work this out. Follow-up is huge. And it's just, I mean, but that's all. It's just calling yes. and, and keeping up or, or meeting them in person. So um, I, I remember that and I've repeated that several times to people that, like, want to do something or want to grow. And I'm like, just, you, now's the time. Yeah. Keep your commitments. Be organized. Get out there. And, and you'll be, you are all do it. those things. You're, like, the epitome of what you're <laughs> preaching right now. Oh, I mean, you're yeah, just, like, my yeah. go-to. Like, you need payroll services. Here's Jeffrey. Yeah. Right. In some cases, it's clients. In some cases, it's someone I've barely met. Yeah. Some somebody I've networked with, or yeah. just whatever reason I found out that they needed payroll services, yeah. and I made the introduction. So a lot of these situations, I completely forgot that I sent them to you. But you sent me these bullet points of all the people I've sent you and what was going on with each one of them. I was like, this is amazing. I love it. People I had completely forgotten about. <laughs> Jeffrey is on it. <laughs> it, it and, and, and you know what? That's a really good point. So people love those updates. Yes. Like that's part of your commitment. Yes. So if you, even if you are that construction person, right? Like, hey, here's your update. Here's what's going yes. on. Like, you know, it's that communication yes. is key. Yes, absolutely. And absolutely. I've been preaching this to my staff. So mm -hmm. I need you to help me. Let's do it. <laughs> you can come to my staff meeting. Next we'll do it. Time. I will. I will. It wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> because that is something I have constantly been reiterating. Communication. Mm -hmm. Even if it's not necessarily good news, we need to be communicating no matter what's going on. Especially good or bad. Especially if it's bad news. Though. Or, or like, if it's it. maybe nothing really is going on. Yeah. You know, maybe it's just business as usual. But let's communicate that, you know. Let's, Some of those updates I gave yes. you were that exactly, yeah. right? Like, you know, nothing's really come of it yet. Yeah. But I didn't forget. Right. Right. They're you still did there. not forget. And, and yeah, so it's very important. You're right. Yes, absolutely. So we've I've, I've ranted for a while now and gotten off on other tangents. So anyway, if good. we could sum this up in one sentence, keep your commitments. Stay organized. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Just keep your commitments. 
All right. How can people reach you if they need payroll services? Uh, they can call me at my phone number, which is 214-551-4650. Or they can email me at jgonzalez with an S at payentry.com. So last time you gave your number, I told people to spam you. Did anyone spam you? You know what? I did get a couple weird did you? messages. Did Was you? that because of you? Maybe. Just like weird memes. I, I would take strange amount of satisfaction in knowing that I caused people to spam you. All right. So if anybody <laughs> spams me as a result of this podcast, they need to say, yes, this is from say. Lindsay. And I need some kind of commission. I feel like for this, not only for, well, I'm going to, I'm going to place the tattoo. Yeah. Yeah. So that can I'm going to have to make some restrictions on location. <laughs> apparently I didn't know that you were going to go for the face tattoo. <laughs> Although I should have known. <laughs> This is Lindsay Klein with Secline, honest, accurate bookkeeping performed on time. You can reach us at info at secline.com or our website at secline.com, S-A-K-L-I-N-E.com. Until next time, have a great week, everyone. By the Books is presented by Secline, honest, accurate bookkeeping performed on time. For more information on Secline services or to get a hold of Lindsay, visit secline.com or email info at secline.com. The information provided on this website and podcast does not and is not intended to constitute legal advice. Instead, all information, content, and materials available are for general information purposes only. Information provided by Secline may not constitute the most up-to-date legal or other information. Listeners should contact their attorney to obtain advice with respect to any particular legal matter and should refrain from acting on the basis of this information without first seeking legal advice from counsel in the relevant jurisdiction. Only your individual attorney can provide assurances that the information contained herein and your interpretation of it is applicable or appropriate to your particular situation.